Dum, 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 da, da, da. <clears throat> Sorry. Hey, what about ye? <laughs> Good to see you again. Well, welcome to our last episode of Little Horrors. Last time we heard about the Banshee. Before that, it was werewolves. And before that again, dairy vampires. On this, our last episode, we are talking about the Dullahan or the Headless Horseman. Legend has it that all over Ireland, when the Dullahan appears, he's hunting for the soul of someone who's about to die. Happy days. The Dullahan can only speak once on each appearance, and that's to only speak the name of the person who's going to die. I looked up the Dollahan on the interweb last night and well the description of this guy is fairly terrifying. Um, he carries his head under his arm. He has black eyes searching for his next victim. He has a horrible grin, decaying flesh clinging to his head. Seriously, you could have warned me. I've just had my breakfast. <clears throat> anyway. He rides through the darkness on a blackest of horses, lights his way with candles and skulls, and... You know what? I, I think you get the idea. This will give me nightmares, not to mention you guys. <laughs> anyway, let's just say he's not the sort of guy you want to meet on your own leg, ever. So, to get a better understanding of the Dullahan and what he's really like, we're crossing over to our live reporter, Patricia McAllister, who apparently has the Dullahan with her at the moment. <laughs> She's brave. After that thing, with a dairy vampire. Woohoo! I can't believe we're doing this again. You would think you'd learn from the vampire that nearly had us for breakfast, and now we're interviewing a headless horseman. Do you know what it is? Would you just be quiet? I've had enough of your yapping. Didn't you survive? Good afternoon. Welcome to this special report out here in the dairy countryside. Today I will be interviewing one of Ireland's most notorious and scary characters from folklore, the Doolahan, or Headless Horseman. Many myths surround this figure, so today in this one-to-one -one interview I will be setting out to discover the man behind the myth. Let's go and meet him. Good afternoon, Mr. Doolahan. Thank you for agreeing to speak with me today. I have a few questions that I would like to ask so our viewers can get to know you better. Is that alright? <clears throat> Is that alright? Legend has it that you cannot speak, that you only speak the name of the person you're intending to kill. Is that correct? Oh, great. Yeah, this is going to be a great interview if you can't even speak. My <laughs> <laughs> My research says that you're a member of the fairy world, is that correct? That you're a part of the Unsullied Court? The most evil and dangerous in all the fairy world. It is said that you work for a pagan god who did not want to lose out when Christianity came to Ireland, so you go forth and gather souls for him, is that correct? Legend has it that people shouldn't go near you at all, lest they be covered in blood that will never wash away. And tell me, Mr. Doolahan, is it true that there is one thing that frightens you? I've heard that you don't like gold. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The Doolahan is evil. He will only speak the name of the person he intends to kill. But if you should encounter him, show him a piece of gold and he will run away. I've been Patricia McAllister. Back to the studio. Listen, I can't want to get out of here. I'm afraid I am coming back. Let's go. Oh, God. Well, 
That has to be the strangest interview I have ever seen. Anyway, the Dullahan appears in all sorts of myths and legends in Ireland, but headless horsemen appear in folklore all over the world. The most famous being the story of Sleepy Hollow in America. Well, my friends, it's almost time for me to say goodbye. I do hope you enjoyed our little quirky insights into some of the mysterious characters in Irish myth and legend, and that you've not been too scared by us. I hope you have a great Halloween, and hopefully we'll be able to get together again next year and enjoy the wonders of Derry and Straban and Derry Halloween as we've done in years gone by. Right. See you. That is the last time I'm working with you. Shambles! Utter shambles! Anyway, to back to Belfast Zoo, at least there I can get socially distanced from Muppets like you!